Hey everyone, so still have some extra time. <laughs> so I figured I would do another quick video. So um, this one is just kind of how it has been, you know, going from one baby to two babies. So um, Paxton is, so we are now in August. So Paxton is now May, June, July, August. So he is now um, two years and four months. So he's almost two and a half two and a half years old and then obviously Adeline's a newborn so she would be three weeks tomorrow so kind of adjusting with the two of them honestly I've been blessed because it has been very easy um one because Adeline's a very easy chill baby um I always tell you know Ari and like anyone that I know you know we are very lucky in that you know we didn't have knock on wood you know Paxton wasn't colicky. Adeline ha isn't colicky, or at least she hasn't been yet. Um, they sleep well. They eat well. You know, they are just happy, content little babies, and they're very easy. And so for me, you know, I've been getting a lot of sleep, <laughs> um, and everything's really just been smooth sailing and she's been a good nurser too so she's even easier than Paxson was and Paxson was already a super easy baby but because Paxson kind of struggled with the feeding at the beginning um it was mostly because he was really small and because he was jaundiced but um so he would just tuck her out and like a feeding you would have to like completely get him naked and like basically put a cold towel on him to like keep him awake and so that he would drink and you know you would be up for like an hour and a half sometimes two hours trying to get him to drink um just because he was so um sleepy and jaundiced um and so that kind of was hard um with him but that only lasted until he kind of got um you know rid of the jaundice and then he he was very easy too but um we don't have that with Adeline so for her when she wakes up at night you know I just put her on the boob <laughs> she drinks and then she gets a diaper and she goes right back down um the only thing with her that's a little bit challenging is we go through a ton of diapers because it seems that every single diaper change we have um she will then as you're putting on the new diaper either decide to pee or all of a sudden she'll have a shart and then obviously you have to get her a new diaper and clean her up again and then sometimes we go through three diapers in one diaper change because it'll be like a pee and then she'll decide to shart or she'll like partially pee where we're like and it's a lot too so she'll like pee a ton and you know as i'm putting on the fresh diaper pee a ton so i'm like okay get rid of it and then all of a sudden she'll like pee some more um it's like she like holds holds it and then like decides to like let more out um so we go through a lot of diapers with her um and yeah i'm pretty sure we go through like 20 25 diapers a day um with her currently <laughs> which is excessive um but it's it's just because she literally just poops and pees and sleeps and eats um and we always kind of joke um because it's like oh it's been five minutes you probably need another diaper um which pretty much is how often she goes to the bathroom <laughs> um which is a good thing because that's how she cleared up her jaundice very quickly and obviously it's a good thing because it means she's eating a lot um but yeah lots of diapers <laughs> um but yeah she's been very easy and so honestly it's been very easy um and then with Paxson he's been amazing too he's adjusted very well to you know having a sibling and knowing that you know I can't you know immediately you know get him what he wants or be there for him and he's very patient obviously he'll he'll have his moments and he is a little bit um like needier and he da is seeking for more attention which is completely understandable um but he hasn't you know lashed out on her or acted out in any way and he's never aggressive towards her which is good he still shows tons of interest in her he's always like hello Adeline good morning Adeline um and if she's like not here he'll ask where she is so today we were eating um well I guess I'll share this story so this was mine when I was growing up so I'm a little bitty baby and um I was changing Adeline in in her room and he was in the playroom which is just right next door and he comes in carrying the doll and he was like i want to change the doll and so i helped him undress and then he 
um, insisted on getting a diaper. So I just put like, a, I just gave him a diaper that like, we don't, like, you know, those, um, like diapers that you get for samples. So I just gave him one that I knew we weren't gonna use anyways. And I gave him up because he wanted to use like the actual wipes we use and I don't want him to, you know, keep tearing out wipes from R. So I said, I'll give him his own little package that he can play with. So again, just a little sample pack of ones that, um, you know, we weren't going to use um, on Adeline just because she has sensitive skin and I, I don't want her you know using like anything that's like scented um but so he has that and then he right now adeline has a very bad little because she poops all the time um uh, diaper rash so we're constantly putting butt paste on her and so he wanted a little butt paste too which obviously i'm not letting him put butt paste on a doll so i gave him like he wanted something real so i gave him my um because it was happened to be upstairs i gave him my my baby butter my birth bees belly butter or whatever um that he was able to like put on there because we we always put it on with a q-tip on adeline um and then he had a little grabbed a q-tip and put it on her but anyways so he was changing her and then after he changed her he he said oh now she needs you know um booby milk and then he put her in upstairs in the in the playroom at a line i always will put her in when she falls asleep so that i can you know play with paxton um i'll put her down in the little mama roo and so he then carried her in the mama roo and turned it on and then he was like and now it's tummy time at line and he was calling her at line which was really cute and then he would put her on tummy time and then he he took her over to the kitchen he was like feeding her and he kept talking about her and then he insisted on bringing her down bringing her down here for lunch and he wanted me to get a high chair for him which it's upstairs and I didn't feel like carrying it down um and so I didn't but she was then laying on the bar stool and we were eating and he goes mom and he was like looking around and he was like where's Adeline and I was like oh I put her you know over on the bar stool and he was like no he was like the other Adeline <laughs> and he obviously he met like the real Adeline his sister and she was um laying on the couch in her little snuggle me but so he's you know if she's not there he's always asking for her whenever I put her down he always asks to look at the monitor to see her he's like he was like I don't see Adeline um like I already mentioned when he wakes up he goes and sees her so he's definitely interested in her today he was playing doctor on her and he was listening to her heart I mean obviously I had to like remind him like be gentle um there were times when he was like trying to like stick something in her mouth and I'm like don't put anything in her mouth um but he definitely um is showing a lot of interest in Adeline and is playing with her and I think he's enjoying having a sibling. Um, I mean, obviously, there's only so much you can do with her right now. But, um, yeah. So, definitely, the adjustment has been good. And then, he's also... Adeline was moving, so I was staring at the monitor. Um, like, they both have been napping at the same time as you can see so Paxton's down and then now Adeline and Adeline's sleeping and he knows that you know when he wakes up and he calls for me that you know I'm not just gonna leave Adeline down here by herself like I grab her and then we all go upstairs and so he knows that and so he's patient and he waits where you know before Adeline came he is it wasn't patient like if I was going to the bathroom as he happened to wake up I mean he would be crying hysterically if i you know wasn't running up the stairs instantly so he's definitely you know i don't know if it's like he's matured or just it understands that i need to take adeline you know adeline needs to come with me um but he's definitely patient and waits and there's even been a couple of days where you know as he was waiting because typically he'll like to lay in bed and then snuggle a little bit um which yesterday was cute because i laid adeline on the bed and she was still sleeping and then he was kind of like snuggling with her um and then, um, but two days, he didn't really wait for that. He just got up and went into the playroom, which is very abnormal for him because he typically doesn't want to be anywhere by himself, um, especially the playroom. Like, he won't go there by himself because um, he always says he's scared of monsters. Um, so that was new. But yeah, he's... He's adjusted very well, and and I think because he's adjusted very well, and then like I said, she's an easy knock on wood newborn. It's made it very easy for me. So Ari has been. So my mom left 
um, like after a week and then um, Ari went back that Tuesday so she left on a Saturday Ari um, went back to work on Tuesday he does still work partial days from home so that's been helpful um, but honestly again knock on again knock on wood everything's been pretty easy around here just because I don't know I'm lucky I have easy kiddos um, but yeah, so there really hasn't been anything crazy. The only thing that we need to figure out on, um, you know, life with two kids is right now we don't have a double stroller because the stroller that I want to get is the Zoe double. And that one Adeline can't utilize until she's older because they need to be able to like sit um, like with support. And obviously she's so far away from that because um, there isn't like a car seat adapter. Um, so when we did go out, we had to use two strolls, which is just a little inconvenient. Um, and especially because Paxson can get out of the stroller and if he doesn't want to sit, then he like um, clips himself. And then here you are with two strollers and like one parent chasing, you know, the toddler. So those are things we need to figure out. And then obviously right now, like one person can't do it solo because um, you can't really be pushing two strollers. So we just need to figure out like how we'll manage, you know, going out and about with them. And then obviously because I am still recovering and I'm definitely taking things very slow because I am, if you watched my postpartum update, like I am still a little bit worried about like a prolapse and I don't want to make anything worse if I do have one or get a prolapse. And then because of my app separation, like I'm really, really trying to take it easy and not rush into anything. So I haven't been lifting Paxton. And so right now, you know, I'm not going anywhere, you know, without Ari because Ari is the one carrying, you know, Paxton and putting him in the car seat and maneuvering that kind of stuff. Um, so once you know, I kind of get cleared and, you know, feel like I can do the lifting then, you know, I think it'll be easier, easier too. But again, that's just part of recovery and has nothing to do with, you know, having two babies. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've been very lucky and blessed. So I don't really have any tips because there hasn't really been anything that, you know, I can share to help you because they're just, they make it easy. <laughs> uh, anyways, I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, and I will have a video coming up kind of on newborn essential things that, you know, we use with Paxson and are using again for her. And potentially maybe if there's some new things that we are using with Adeline that we find very useful. So stay tuned for that. And then we'll also have some more product reviews and things like that. So Adeline is waking up, so it's perfect timing. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.